Today is Wednesday, January 15, 2020. I'm Mr. Allen, and scientists have created the first organic robot. And I'm officially a new life form. We've got the details. The news is next. National Honor Society presents the winter movie extravaganza, and the movie is abominable. Admission is just three bucks for people for people three, 13 and under, two dollars for kids aged four to 12, and kids under three get in three free. All children must be accompanied by an adult. There will be pizza, candy, pop, and baked goods for sale. That's January 20th, with the movie starting at 1 p.m. What's that, Seja? It's gender and sexuality acceptance, formerly known as Gray Straight Alliance. Saja is meeting tomorrow during lunch in Miss Katie's room. Come have some fun with accepting and caring for people. Saja's goal is eliminate discrimination based on gender or sexuality identity. This is a safe space where you can be yourself without fear. If you're driving yourself to classes at other schools in the district, be sure to display your parking pass. Failure to do so means your car can be sighted or towed. Your Columbia parking pass will work at all the other high schools in the district. Remember, park in the student lots. Our clothing drive runs through Friday. There will be boxes to donate clothes in the front office and a few located in the commons. Also for the two boys homes basketball games, there will be boxes in at the ticket table and if you bring two items for the lost above, you get them for free. So clean up the closet and make a difference. Bring those clothes you don't use or have outgrown and get into tonight's game free. Go Wildcats. It's time again for Valens Entertainment News. Ah, there I am. It's time again for Valens Entertainment News. It's right, uh, it's about time, it's the right time to find out about new game releases, music and entertainment, as well as social gossip. Roll tape. Hello, welcome back to Ven. How was your break? Never mind, I can't hear you. I'm your host, Fallon Beebe, here to bring you the latest scoop on entertainment news. Starting off strong, Weathering With You releases today for us teen folk. I get anime movies aren't for everyone, but if you're dating someone who does enjoy anime movies, then you should humor them and check out this heartwarming tale about leaving home life behind and becoming an adult. January 17th, we'll see the release of Doolittle at PG. I'm personally really excited to see this movie. The trailers look awesome and Robert Downey Jr. seriously nails the role. This will be a fun film for the whole family. And with those two movies today, let's jump over to video games. With Dragon Ball Z Kakarot releasing in two days. What am I supposed to say? Jump Force was terrible. Well, that's coming out. And this game is seriously banking off of the fact that you can fish in it and eat in it. So I'm not exactly sure what to say. Tokyo Mirage Sessions hashtag FE Encore, well that's a name, is coming to Nintendo Switch? This is a five-year-old game. Well, Nintendo is, instead of using backwards compatibility, just re deciding to re-release games. No updated version of this critically acclaimed crossover. As specifically worded as that was, I'm not kidding. It's just the exact game. No remasters, no new content, nothing. Come on, Nintendo. As for music, there was just about nothing mainstream, so here are five bands you probably never heard of so you can have some fresh new support for these upcoming albums. All of these are coming out the 17th, and they are Mac Miller with Circles, Mr. Elevator releasing Goodbye Blue Sky, Pine Grove releases Marigold, Arcana 13 releases the EP Black Death, they look pretty promising, and Victorious releases Space Ninjas from Hell. What a name. Well, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next week on Ben. Attention students. Winter is still here. It is very important that you are cautious with winter driving and snowy conditions. Be sure to go extra slow and allow extra room with the vehicle in front of you. Be aware of ice and snow walking from the parking lot to the school building. In case of an extreme amount of snow, school may be canceled. In this event of a snow day, it will be directly announced on the local news or school website. Weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Dr. Keller is a great guy. If you want somebody to work on your mouth and not to get too badly, you know, bunged up, Keller's the guy. I'm telling you. By the way, if you go there, say hi to my, uh, my daughter-in-law, who is uh, working at the front desk. Oh, yeah. By the way, weather. We were talking about weather. Today's high is 37. The low is 33. Tomorrow is going to be a high of 44 and a low of 28, so you know. 
Uh, by the way, this stuff about being safe in the parking lot and safe around, always remember, if the water is solid, it's dangerous. You could fall. If you're me, you break a hip and the pneumonia will get you. Pierce, not so much. Two SpaceX Falcon 9 ro rockets are currently on track to launch back-to-back -back missions just a handful of days from now, potentially supporting Crew Dragon's second flight test ever and yet another Starlink satellite launched a little over two days ago, known as Crew Dragon's in-flight abort test. The first mission is scheduled to lift off from Kennedy's Space Center Launch Complex 39A, no earlier than 9 a.m. estimated Saturday, and will also currently produce some spontaneous fireworks, even more so than usual. During the test, SpaceX's newest flight-worthy Crew Dragon spacecraft will attempt to escape from a supersonic Falcon 9 rocket, changing conditions that will also currently result in the immediate destruction of Falcon 9's upper stage and boosters. Then on Monday, SpaceX will launch another batch of 60 Starlink satellites. That's a fancy way of saying they're going to make it go boom. Scientists have created, this is kind of scary, scientists have created the world's first living self-healing robots using stem cells from frogs. Called Xenobots, after the African clawed frog from which they take their stem cells, the machines are less than a millimeter wide, small enough to travel inside your body. They can walk and swim, survive for weeks without food, and work together in groups. These are entirely new life forms, said a University of Vermont, said the University of Vermont, which conducted the research with Tufts. Xenobots can be, have self-healing cap capabilities. When the scientists sliced into one robot, it healed by itself and kept moving. Can you, uh, what can you do with a living robot? Xenobots be, can be used to clean up radioactive waste, collect microplastics in the oceans, or carry medicine inside human bodies. If it sounds like a sci-fi movie, it feels like one too. They could even travel in our arteries and scrape out plaque. The xenobots survive in aqueous, aqueous environments without additional nutrients for days or weeks, making them suitable for internal drug delivery. The SHRT word of the day is mammoth, which means huge or gigantic. You could use it like this. Kelly was hoping for a mammoth birthday cake, but then he could eat it for weeks. Are you, do you want to know? You, when's your birthday? March. Oh, hey, right on. What day? <laughs> 13. 14. Oh, right on. <laughs> Who knew? All the cool people are born around there. Oh, yeah. Um, by the way, uh, I love mammoth cakes. Mammoth cakes are cool. Whether they're shaped like a mammoth or just big. That's the news. Thanks for walking. Wow. Thanks for watching. And remember, live, live the, the wildcat wild way. way.